We've all heard of people or investors say never put all your eggs in one basket. This is the central thesis in which the concept of diversification actually started. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about what is diversification, why do people and investors actually need to diversify their portfolio, and I'm also going to be breaking down some of the top five tips which can actually help you to start diversifying your investment portfolio. So guys, please note that I'm not a financial advisor. None of my videos constitute as financial advice. If you're seeking for any financial advisor, please be sure to look for someone who is certified and registered with the FSCA. So let's get straight into the video. So the first question may be, what is diversification? So diversification is a way to manage risk in your portfolio by investing in a variety of asset classes and in different investments within asset classes. So why do people or investors actually have to diversify their investment portfolio? Well, there's a lot of uncertainty when it comes to predicting the stock market, predicting the crypto space, or just predicting life in general. And I think COVID actually proved that. So one of the reasons why you actually have to diversify your portfolio is that firstly, you don't know what the future holds. So you actually have to limit the risk of potentially losing all of your money. And another reason why you have to diversify your investment portfolio is that it will actually expose you to more growth uh, investment losses or more growing investments. So the first thing that can actually help you to diversify investment portfolios to first create a tailored investment plan. So if you are watching this and you already created an investment plan, well that's good for you. But if you haven't created an investment plan, then these are the things that you need to have in an investment plan. So the first thing is that you need to define your goals. The second thing is that you need to set a time frame. And the third and the last thing is that you have to pick stocks or asset plans which are within your capacity and your tolerance risk. So for example, you say that you're a parent and you want to set money aside for your child's education. So the first thing is that you need, you need to define the goal. So the goal is that you want to set money aside for your child's education then the second thing is that you need to have a time frame of when you're going to start investing and when you're going to stop investing so let's say you want to start investing a year after your child has been born and then you're going to stop investing after your child starts um, getting into the university or tertiary education so that's a time frame of approximately 18 years and the last thing is that you need to take stocks or asset plans which are within your capacity or your natural tolerance risk so now you want to you don't want to gamble with your child's education and you don't want to gamble with your child's future so you are not going to pick stocks which are going to be volatile which can end up making you lose a lot your money or stocks which are very volatile to the point where you're actually going to lose all of your, of your investments and you haven't picked the proper stocks to actually invest in so those are the things that you need to consider to take into consideration rather if you're actually going to start an investment plan the first thing is that first you need to have to define your goals the second thing is that you need to have a set the time frame and the last thing is that you need to take stocks or investment plans which are within your capacity and your tolerance risk so the second tip that can actually help you to diversify investment portfolio is you have what we call asset allocation. So asset allocation is basically you deciding where you're going to put your money or where you're going to be investing your money. So broadly speaking, let's say there are two types of investments, which are stocks and bonds, because they are usually more stable and provide good returns. So now you're going to have to allocate your money between those two investments, which is the stocks and bonds. And a good way for you to do that is to subtract your age from 100. So let's say, for example, you're a 30 year old, right? You're going to say 100 minus 30. So it's going to be 70% of stocks and then it's going to be 30% of bonds. But let's say for an example, you are 60 year old. So 60 year olds always have to reduce their risk exposure. So they are going to say uh, 100, 100 minus 60. So it's going to be 40% of stocks and it's going to be 60% of what? Of bonds. So that's how you can actually play around it. But if you are a stock market investor, a, a, bond, a bonds investor or a crypto uh, investor and you, are, and you are a 20 year old, right? That's the also, that's another method that you can actually use. That you can say, okay, from 100, you get minus 20 years of your age and then it's going to be 80% of bonds, of stocks, right? and 20% of what is 20% of bonds because that's how it determines your age so investment plan goes along also with what with your age because as you grow older the more you want to limit your risk but as you are young you can actually play around with all the risk and be exposed to more volatile or more stocks if you are that kind of a person so the third tip that can actually help you to diversify investment portfolio is to always spread your wealth. So one of the keys to a diversified portfolio is to invest your money in a wide variety of investment plans and to also invest globally. So by investing in different investment plans, what that basically means is that you can invest in technology stocks, energy stocks, you need trust, you can invest in bonds and all the other things. And globally, what I mean by that is that you can invest your money in different countries or in different continents. So for example, let's say you're investing in the USA and one dollar now is going to trading at 17 rands. When you're investing on that side, you're going to get more value for your money and gain, going to get more money because of the currency is bigger that side compared to here and the value for money is going to be big and another reason why you have to invest globally is because you're going to be exposed to different companies and you're going to be exposed to different investment platforms like trading rather in in your jse or rather trading in the london stock exchange or in the new york stock exchange so there's a lot of variety that can actually help you to diversify your portfolio but also don't forget to spread your wealth because spreading your wealth actually helps you to not limit yourself only in the country that you are in or in a country that you are likely to invest 
in but also investing in different countries like your australia like europe like in the uk everywhere is limitless so guys those are the things that you also need to do to have a diversified portfolio that you need to spend your wealth so now you've laid the foundation of actually how to get a diversified portfolio or how you can make a diversified portfolio. Now the fourth thing that you need to do is that you keep, you have to keep on adding rather to your investment portfolio. So you need to have money or you need to add on money to investments on a regular basis. So for example, let's, let's say you have 8,000 rands that you want to invest into the stock market, right? And instead of putting that money as a lump sum into the stock market, you can use a method that is called dollar cost averaging, or in this case it's called rent cost averaging. This method actually helps you to smooth out the highs and lows of the stock market and actually cut down your investment risk by investing the same amount of money over a period of time. But how this method actually works now, let's say for example if 8,000 rands which you want to invest into the stock market and then instead of putting all that money as a lump sum into the stock market, you decide to prolong that money and divide it into 8 months, right? So now you're going to invest 1,000 rands each and every month for a period of 8 months. So this method actually helps you to buy more stocks when the prices are low and to buy a fewer stocks when the prices are high. And this method has actually been highly recommended by investors like Warren Buffett because this strategy actually yields more returns compared to when you're just putting your money as a lump sum. And also this strategy has been highly recommended for people who can actually who can actually time the market and for people who want to buy stocks which are expensive but they're currently expensive and they can't buy them at a certain moment so by buying that by, by putting that money as a lump sum for a period of, eight, of, of like eight months or a period of ten months that can actually yield more returns compared to when you put in a lump sum so i'm going to leave a video detailing how actually dollar cost averaging works and also displaying another picture which actually shows the returns of putting more money as a dollar cost averaging rather than putting that money into a lump sum so the fifth and the last tip which can actually help you to diversify investment portfolio is to always manage your portfolio so one of the things that make a good investor is to know when to get into a stock market and when to get out of the stock market and you can only do that by actively managing your portfolio so you can manage your portfolio by yourself or with the help of a financial advisor so if you're managing your portfolio on your own then these are the three things that you need you need to take into consideration when you are managing your portfolio so the first thing is that you need to manage your portfolio the second thing is that you need to rebalance your portfolio and lastly you need to refresh your portfolio so by monitoring your portfolio what that basically means that periodically you always have to go back to your portfolio and check whether there are still any changes to the strategies and to the performance of the stocks that you already invested in and then secondly when i talk about the rebalance what that basically means that you always have to go back to your portfolio and check whether the risk tolerances are still the same and all the goals that you've had of your investment strategies are also still going the same because as you grow older your risk tolerance gets lower so for example the tolerance of risk of a 20 year old and tolerance risk of a 60 year old are not the same a 20 year old can tolerate more risk compared to a 60 year old because they're already retiring and they don't want to spend all their money or lose all of their money in the stock market so you always have to go back and rebalance and check whether okay am i comfortable with trading in the crypto space now or do i want to trade in the bond market because it's more secure and more stable so those are the things that you need to do and lastly you always need to go back and refresh refresh your portfolio what that basically means that for example let's say you got retrenched from your work right and then now your investment circumstances have also changed so for example each and every month you're investing maybe a thousand rest to your investment portfolio but now you can't because now you don't have work so now you're going to start re-evaluating and maybe now you're going to start investing 500 trends per month so you always have to go back maybe once a year and check whether okay can i still maybe invest that money and if i can't can i maybe change that the certain things that i need to change refresh like a cabinet when they when they when they when the president of south africa is actually um, refreshing the cabinet so those are the things you need to do to manage your portfolio the first one is to monitor it the second one is to rebalance and the lastly is to refresh your portfolio so guys, we've came to the end of the video and if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like this video and please be sure to comment in the comment section below if actually how you've diversified your portfolio at home. So guys, please be sure to also subscribe to my YouTube channel because 80% of the people who are watching these videos are people who have not subscribed to my YouTube channel. And please be sure to share this video to people who you feel like is actually going to be very informative to them or educational to them. So my name is Chava Malakwan. I create this type of video where I talk about personal finance, investing in the stock market. I talk about all the daily news and the crypto space and all the other things that you need to know. And if you love this channel or if you love these videos, please be sure to subscribe guys and share this video to people who also feel like I love or love the stock market or into like personal finance. So guys, my name is Chairman Akwani and I'll see you in the next video.